Today on the channel, you could say I'm a little bit gung-ho for today's unboxing as we're taking a look at the G.I. Joe Super 7 Ultimate Gung-Ho. In the spirit of Ultimate Warrior, we'll run forever! back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate G.I. Joe unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got one of the all-timers. We got Gung Ho. But for all your Gung Ho needs and a whole lot more, make sure you end up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. You can also go to the Super 7 website. Put in code KYLE P at checkout to support the channel. Got to get a deal out there. And of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And Gung Ho, an all-timer in the Joe land. I absolutely loved Gung Ho as a kid. Great in the cartoon. Just one of my favorite dudes. And I always love the big tough dudes, especially ones that have no shirt and a vest on. Oh, man, sign me up all day long. But this guy looking extra cool, looking extra good, looking extra Gung Ho. But without further ado... Let's check out the packaging on this one. First thing to note is, of course, no more cardboard mailer boxes. Those are gone. Gone with the wind. Haven't seen those in quite some time. However, a recent turn of events here, as we've seen it with the Mighty Morph Power Rangers and a few other lines, no slipcase cover on this either. So, not sure what's up with that. Apparently, they're gone. I guess we do know what's up with that. But a lot of collectors are going to be very mad that some of them have them, some of them don't. The uniformity is kind of killed a little bit and really is killed totally. So... Something to take note of if that is your thing. But there's old gung-ho in the package. Looking truly gung-ho to get out of the package. Can't wait to free him from this plastic prison. You've, of course, got the classic G.I. Joe logo up there. Big window box. Green for good guys, of course. Got a little dog tag down here. Gung-ho, U.S. Marine. How about that? Just a U.S. Marine right there doing his thing. On the side, looking good. Looking good. Sure, why not? Ultimate on the top right there. On the back, got the little file card. We're going to read that. It's like a computer screen readout. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Gung Ho. Let's see. File name, Etienne R. Lafitte. I'm terrible at pronouncing his name. I'm just going to call him Gung Ho. Uh, he is a primary military specialty, Rakondo. Uh, Rakondo's his specialty? I think it's Rakondo. Uh, he's out there in the jungles with Rakondo. What's your specialty, Gung Ho? It's that man right there. Rakondo's my specialty. Is that what he says? Somebody fact check that if you want to. Secondary military specialty, jungle warfare training. So it signs up. The, the shoe fits. You got to wear it. It's He's about Rakondo. The love of his life, really, at the end of the day. Gung-ho and Rakondo, what a team. Birthplace, oh, Ferdinand, Louisiana. Absolutely beautiful this time of year. I guess I knew he lived down in Louisiana. I almost forgot because we do know. Somebody fact check this. I wouldn't do it once again. But he did live right down the street from the Kershaw brothers. And we all know the Kershaw brothers. Doug Kershaw, Louisiana man. Exactly right. You know what I'm talking about. We all know Doug Kershaw, don't we? That's like a staple around everybody's house. Is it not? Is it not? It should be. It should be. Shout out to Doug Kershaw. I'm not sure if he's still alive. I'm guessing he is. Those fiddlers, they live a long life. I have heard that. You guys can fact check that as well. But let's read the back of Gung Ho right here. Born into a large back swamp Cajun clan, Gung Ho moved to New Orleans and won a reputation as a bare knuckle brawler, like a young Chuck Liddell, really, at the end of the day, and knife fighter to be reckoned with. Joined the Marines at 18, graduated top of the class from boot camp, attended Airborne School, Rakondo School, and Marine Ordnance School. Qualified expert, all military small arms and most infantry weapons, grenade launcher, and Cajun fiddle. Yes, you heard it here first, Cajun fiddle. His team members say all Marines are crazy, but Gung Ho is the hairiest. Well, is he the hairiest? Maybe that push broom, maybe. I don't know. Scariest, craziest jarhead that ever scratched, kicked, and bit his way out of that hole in the swamp boot camp. So, Gung Ho living that Louisiana man life. Shout out to Gung Ho, an all-time favorite of mine, of course. There it is, background looking good. Classic G.I. Joe. See you later. Goodbye. And when are we going to get Gung Ho in his classic blues? That's what I'm waiting for. Give me those dress blues. That was a favorite figure of mine back in the day. Looking good here for Gung Ho, though. Let's see what we got going on in the old plastic prison. And, of course, we got some of that dreaded tape. 
No, it's not cannibal tape. Todd McFarlane on the couch, everybody. Todd telling me about, of course, his cannibal tape that he gets from uh, Cambodia, made by real cannibals, not this one here. But we do get the backpack. We do get a couple of weapons going on. Can I get these out? That's the million dollar question. Oh, it's the million dollar question for the million dollar man, Teddy Biasi. There it is. Got that. See you later. Goodbye. And there he is, old gung ho, looking extra gung ho here today. Gonna free him from this little plastic prison. It looks like we only got one twist tie on him. Take notes, Todd, on the couch. Gonna pop some of these heads out. Maybe. Oh, we got two twist ties. I lied. I take it back, Todd. I take it back. Oh, we got one of those specific episode ones that I can't remember. So we'll have to test my brain later on in this video. There we go. Come on, Come on gung ho. You know you're gung-ho to get out of this package. Usually I take this portion offline for the Super 7 Ultimates because they get a little hairy, like gung-ho, of course. Oh, one of these days I'm just going to break the figure and it's going to be a devastating day. Come on, come on, there it is. See you later. Goodbye. All right, let's get down to business here. No monkey business detected on this one. It's just straight gung-ho business. But let's get down to these hands with gung-ho. Got two big, deep grip hands here. I don't know what he's up to. He's got a deep grip. He's going to grip real deep on this one. So he's got two gripping hands there. Of course, got to have a trigger hand. And gung-ho, he came to bare knuckle fight right out of the package. He's got two fists of fury. He's warming them up. He's throwing some fisticuffs. Good for him. We're here for that all day long. He does come with a little, uh, oh, is this the Wolverine? The Wolverine, I believe. Of course, where's CoverGirl when you need her? Where is she? Uh, he's got the little Wolverine toy here, so that's very interesting. Almost like a micro machine is almost what it looks like, but a little Wolverine. Looking interesting. And then you got this big old crystal. Is this from, what's that one mini series? Oh my gosh, I'll think of it the minute I stop filming this video. But is that the one where they uh, had to get the different crystals in the thing and it made it go together? You know, the mass device. Is that what it was? The mass device? The mass device? Uh, sure, sounds good. Just pretend that's right. Uh, but we get some of these specific episode uh, things. Little Easter eggs, little really tight stuff for the hardcore fan. And in my hardcore fan, if I can't remember, you know, the brain gets fuzzy. It's been a while since I went through the G.I. Joe catalog. It might be time for a return trip through. Always enjoyed it. It's the one that holds up the most to me as a kid. So I might do that. And we did miss some hands here. And I'm guessing these gloved hands here, he holds this because it's dangerous. It's radioactive. Or he's making some of that gumbo that him and the Kershaw brothers used to make for the town potluck they would make on their street you know it was backwoods louisiana we've all been there or maybe none of us but uh, it sounds like it, it sounds good he's got the gloved hands here he's gonna clean some toilets he's gonna do some kitchen duty or he's gonna lift up some radioactive stuff but we do have those going on Oh, I was going to say we lost a head, but I do have that. We do get the big old backpack. Of course, Gung Ho known for his backpack. Uh, not plug-in style. This one goes right over the hoops there. Kind of a seafoam green color. Got a little shovel in the back here. Little silver accents. Looking good. It's a backpack at the end of the day. On brand for any Joe, of course. Then we got the two weapons here. You got the standard issue machine gun for the Joes. We've seen this before. We'll see it again. We've seen it with co Cobras as well. Looking very good. And then you get the more standard, uh, it's kind of like a rocket launcher type thing, a grenade launcher. There you go. Uh, but you do get that. Both of these all in black color. I'm here for this on brand with old Gung Ho there. But now we're going to get down to the head sculpts on Gung Ho. Let's see what this Louisiana man's up to here. Right out of the package, you hand me this head all day long. I say, that's my favorite guy from Louisiana. My favorite down there, that bare knuckle brawler himself, that marine with a heart of gold and a gumbo you can set your watch to. That's gung-ho right there. Beautiful green hat across the top. Got that long mustache there looking good. He's got two eyes, two ears, a nose, and a mouth. He's playing those human hits, but he's playing all the gung-ho hits. I know exactly who that is. And then we got him with a heart of gold here. Do you like your gung-ho smiling or you like him frowning? You choose your own gung-ho adventure at the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. He was always more of a tough, stern guy, but he liked to crack a joke or two. Well, I like myself from time to time. And then you got this one from the Deep Cut episode. Once again, always strange. I remember this in the episode thinking it was really strange. It's just weird when he's not wearing his hat. And then he's got this like karate kid kind of thing over the top there, uh, screaming and yelling. I don't know. I don't know. It would have been kind of cool to have a removable hat. I guess I should check, make sure these aren't removable before I say that. 
not removable. I think it would have been cool to have a removable hat for him, but beggars can't be choosers, I guess, at this point. But all three head sculpts look good. They're all gung-ho at the end of the day. I think I prefer the one out of the package, though, myself. You tell me in the comments your thoughts here. Now, right off the package, uh, one thing that is so identifiable with gung-ho, of course, is his big marine chest tattoo. Uh, I'm by no means an expert. I know enough to be dangerous, but this is close enough, but actually not it. It usually has that kind of globe circle around there, so it's like they played around with the uh, trademark on it, and I think that's the best you could do. I'm glad they did something like this instead of just leaving it empty. That would have been pretty strange, uh, but it does say gung-ho all day long, and also his vest says gung-ho all day long. It says it right there on the back. It says all day long on the bottom, like a tramp stamp. It's wild, uh, but he's got a blue vest here, of course. A little short on him, though. I don't know. Did it get stuck in the laundry a little too long? It's a little short. Could be a little bit longer, if you ask me, but on brand for gung-ho. Same with the camouflage down below, the blue and the green. So iconic to the character, a must for the character. Then you got the blue combat boots down here as well. A little satchel on the side. He can store some uh, gumbo if he needs to, or some crawfish or something. You know what them Louisiana man do. Uh, like a young Doug Kershaw, once again. Uh, looking very good as far as everything, though. I don't have any issues with this. This is gung-ho from the animated series all day. I love this. And a lot of people, of course, uh, compare this line to the classified series. I understand it. I get it. They're both G.I. Joe. But this is the animated line Kyle wanted as a little kid. Yes, I'm talking about me. That's the Kyle I'm talking about. I wanted this as a little kid. I wanted to reenact what I saw on the cartoon down here. Figures I had were great, but it's cool to get a representation of the cartoons after all these years. So I do enjoy this line, and obviously I enjoy the classified line. They both live in my collector's world side by side, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it, but I know a lot of people, one or the other or none none of the other is what you're probably doing. But articulation, arms going to go all the way around for us. Always a good thing. Uh-oh, we got some super tight elbows on him. I might have to heat that up. I'm not going to risk it with gung-ho. I, I couldn't, my heart couldn't take a broken gung-ho. It really couldn't. Side to side at the elbows, though. You do get a bicep cut. Arms go around, like I said. Hands removable back forth, side to side. Waist articulation. Got that gung-ho ab crunch looking good there. I'm here for that. Big old gung-ho splits if you need them. If you need them. I don't think you do for a guy like gung-ho. Legs do go up. Bend at the knee. No side to side or anything at the knee, but you do get a boot cut. You do get the boot cut. Ankles back and forth, up and down. Usual Super 7 articulation. Very nice tight leg joints, too. Almost ratchet-like. I'm here for that as well. Uh, but looking very, very good as far as Gung Ho does go. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10% of ringside collectibles. What do you know? Fits on a stand. Gung-ho, we're here for it. I'm here for it. Hopefully you're here for it as well. A fun one here. If you're a deep G.I. Joe animated series fan like myself, you love guys like Gung-ho. He's one of the core players out there. We know Roadblock's right around the corner as well. The two kind of bruisers of the team. There's more than that. Of course, Flint, uh, everything. Ninja expert, Rakondo expert, airborne guy, uh, leader, you name it, Flint can do it all. But guys like Gung Ho, they're here for when the fight goes down for sure. And speaking of Flint, might as well bring him out. Why wouldn't we? Why would we not bring Flint out? Of course, the one true leader of G.I. Joe. As we all know, we've explained the reasons why. Everybody understands it. And if you don't, you're wrong. There you go. That's the answer right there. But Flint, Gung Ho back together, ready to lead a mission. Uh, they're going to take on Destro and the team. Who knows who they're going to go after? Maybe Cobra Commander, maybe Serpentor, maybe Nemesis Enforcer. You never know. Gung Ho wants some revenge on Nemesis Enforcer. But I enjoyed this Gung Ho. You guys in the comments, let me know, did you enjoy this Gung Ho? Is this for you? Are you going to pick it up? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. we got even more content for you, if you can believe that, over on Patreon as you get early access to both YouTube channel videos, uh, giveaway stuff, dog stuff, pizza reviews, you name it. It's all going on over there every single day, and it is the best way to support this channel. You can also support the channel at com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, at Barnes & Noble and Amazon, my new book, The Complete Guide to the Jax WWE Classic Series Line. Almost 700 pages by yours truly. Truly a labor of love, as we do know. Uh, but it is out right now. And if you're looking for an autograph edition, hit me up on social media, SirPaul64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and Instagram. So for Gung Ho, Super 7 Ultimate, G.I. Joe, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.